They say upgrading your inner barrel is supposed to be really easy. But why did no one tell me there was all these numbers involved? Why did they make it all complicated? What's going on boomers and doomers? Today I'm going to be coming at you with a little guide on figuring out what length airsoft inner barrel you need. Now there are so many different airsoft guns that exist out in the wild and so many different variations of set platforms as well. And as such there are going to be a number of barrel lengths that are going to be available for you and today we're going to help you figure out which one you need. So before we get into it, there are two main types of inner barrels you can get. Gas blowback inner barrels, which are going to be compatible with gas blowback pistols, gas blowback rifles, and even spring-powered bolt-action rifles. And the other being AEG inner barrels. It doesn't really matter what gearbox you end up running, those inner barrels will be compatible with those gearbox regardless. Quick little caveat, most airsoft guns are following the original Tokyo Marui design. However, there are a few guns that don't. Before buying one of these inner barrels, make sure and verify that your gun is following the Tokyo Marui design. So the first platform we're going to be talking about is the M4 or the AR or the M16, the most popular, the most mayo out of all the platforms out there. Now here we have three of the most common lengths you'll typically find out in the wild and we're going to be discussing what inner barrel lengths you need for each. So let's start with the long boy first, the M16. Now typically M16s usually use anywhere from a 16 inch to a 20 inch outer barrel, which in airsoft terms you're going to be rocking anywhere from a 450 to a 510 millimeter inner barrel. Now we at Airsoft GI recommend going with the Unicorn Airsoft 455 millimeter inner barrel for the most optimal performance. Remember guys, there is such a thing as having too long of an inner barrel. Uh, you don't always have to match the inner barrel and outer barrel exactly. We at Airsoft GI recommend sticking under 500 millimeters for the best performance. Now we have the most popular variation of the AR, the M4. Everyone has one, sporting a 14 and a half inch outer barrel. Now this, I would recommend sticking with anywhere from a 350 to about a 370 millimeter inner barrel. And again, for best performance, we at Airsoft GI recommend the Unicorn Airsoft 370 millimeter inner barrel. Again, best performance in mind. The next popular variation of the AR platform has got to be the Mark 18 or CQBR typically rocking a 10.5 to 11.5 inch outer barrel. Now, in terms of inner barrels, you can go with anything from a 250 millimeter to a 310 millimeter. However, again, if you want to get that best performance, we at Airsoft GI recommend the Unicorn Airsoft 265 millimeter inner barrel. Now that we're done talking about the M4, we're going to talk about the next most popular platform, the AK, and what inner barrels you're going to need to use for those. The first variation of the AK that we're going to talk about is going to be the classic AK-47, the AKM, or the full length AK-74. Now for the inner barrel for these guys, you can go with anywhere between a 450 to about a 470 millimeter inner barrel. However, keeping best performance in mind, we at Airsoft GI recommend the Unicorn Airsoft 455 millimeter inner barrel. For a shorter, more modern AK like the 105, we recommend going with a 310 millimeter inner barrel, which Unicorn Airsoft does make. However, if you are running a smaller AK like a 74U or an AK Beta project, perhaps going with a 265 millimeter inner barrel will be your best bet. Obviously, there are a million types of rifle platforms that exist out there in Airsoft, and if we were to cover every single one of them in this video, we'd be here forever. So if we haven't covered anything that you own currently, make sure to stick around till the end of the video. We'll teach you how to nail it every time. Next on the list is going to be gas blowback airsoft pistols, and we're gonna figure out what exact barrel lengths you're gonna need for each of them. The first pistol on our list we're gonna talk about is going to be a 1911, a good old classic. Now, inner barrel length for this is gonna be anywhere from about 110 millimeters to about 120. Now, we at Airsoft GI recommend going with the Unicorn Airsoft 113 millimeter length inner barrel. The next platform we're going to talk about is going to be the High Kappa. Now, High Kappas come in two very popular configurations, the 4.3 being the shorter one and the 5.1 being the longer one. Now, the High Kappa I have in front of me is an Army Armament R604, which is a very interesting High Kappa. If you were to follow the outer barrel to where it ends, it's going to be about right here, which is pretty average for most 4.3s. However, it is a little bit longer because of this compensator included, and that's typically where most 5.1 length uh, High Kappas usually end. To make things simple, if you were running a 4.3 High Kappa, you typically would want to run a 94 millimeter length inner barrel. And if you're running a 5.1, you want to go with a 113 millimeter inner barrel. The next high cap we're going to talk about is one that's growing in popularity. It's going to be the 5.4 length. Now the pistol I have in front of me is going to be the Terran Tactical Innovations Pit Viper, which features an inner barrel length that runs past the outer barrel all the way to the end of the compensator. Now for any 5.4 style high cappas, we recommend going with a 123 millimeter type four inner barrel. The next Airsoft pistol platform we're going to be discussing is going to be the Airsoft Glocks. Now we're going to discuss what inner barrel lengths you need for each. Out of all the Glocks available, the Glock 17 has got to be the most popular. The one in front of me is going to be the Elite Force officially licensed Glock 17. Now for this pistol and for any other similarly styled gas blowback airsoft pistols, we recommend going with the Unicorn Airsoft 114mm length inner barrel. 
The next most popular Glock variation has got to be the Glock 19. Here in front of me is not a Glock 19, but a Glock 45, but you know, same, same, but different. For any pistol similar to this length, we would recommend going with an 85 millimeter length inner barrel. You know what? For pistols this small, you got, you got to ask yourself, do you even need another inner barrel? Like seriously, I mean, is it just me or is this, you know? The next one we're gonna talk about is the long boy of the Glock family, the Glock 34. Here in front of me is going to be the Elite Force Gen 4 Glock 34. Now for this pistol and for anything similarly sized, uh, we would recommend going with the Unicorn Airsoft 129 millimeter length inner barrel. Again, guys, we know that there are a ton of other pistol platforms out there in the airsoft market. And again, we'd be here all day if we were discussing them. Again, stick to the end of the video, we got you covered. Now we're gonna talk about the most difficult platform, the bolt action sniper rifle. Both actions are kind of strange to talk about because there's no standardized inner barrel lengths. However, as far as a platform that has the most amount of parts available for it, it's got to be the VSR-10. When you are shopping for inner barrels for your VSR-10, make sure that you are looking for a gas blowback rifle if it doesn't specify it specifically for a VSR-10 sniper rifle. AEG inner barrels and buckets for that matter will not work for your bolt action. There are a ton of different barrel lengths needed for the VSR-10 platform. However, the one that we at Airsoft GI recommend is the 430 millimeter length inner barrel. This tends to fit most of the platforms out there. Ah, uh, what a perfect segue into the next section. If you want to find out exactly what inner barrel length you need, all you're gonna need is tape measure and Google. For example, I have this VSR-10 in front of me. What you want to go ahead and do is take your tape measure, start at the base of the outer barrel and measure all the way down to where it ends. All right, go ahead and lock that in. And then whatever that is in inches, type that into Google into your computer and convert that to millimeters. Then once you find out the exact number you need, go to airsoftgi.com and find the best match for you. We recommend rounding down as opposed to rounding up. Generally, this is gonna be a great rule of thumb when finding out the inner barrel length that you need for your airsoft gun. However, don't expect to find the exact measurement that you have. It's just not gonna exist out there. You are gonna to have to go with a slightly smaller one. Just round down to one that's a little bit smaller, just by a few millimeters, as opposed to getting one that's just way too long for your airsoft gun. So let's assume you have an airsoft gun with an uncommon barrel length like the Zion Arms PW9. What you would wanna go ahead and do to find a more accurate inner barrel length is to take out the barrel assembly, go ahead and lay that down and get a more precise measurement using a tape measure. And same thing, go ahead and take that from inches, convert that to millimeters using good old Google, and then find the inner barrel length that you need. And again, like we said before, round down as opposed to finding an inner barrel that's too long for your airsoft gun. This process of taking out your inner barrel assembly and measuring it out with a tape measure is something that we at Airsoft GI highly recommend, especially if you wanna find the exact inner barrel length that you are working with. Uh, bear in mind, again, you're not gonna be able to get the inner barrel to be flush with the outer barrel. There are crazy perfectionists out there who are able to do it, but that's because they're able to bring it to a qualified airsoft technician who can cut and crown the inner barrel. This is not something that we recommend that you do at home, uh, as it can ruin the entire integrity of the inner barrel. So again, recommend bringing it to a highly qualified airsoft technician if you plan to do so. Now all their horses right there, before you start typing out your questions as to what inner barrel length is gonna work for your airsoft gun, hold on, go ahead and save that for messages. Go ahead and DM us directly on Instagram, Facebook, or our Discord server if you're on there as well. It will happily get you guys taken care of. Again, doing it in the comment section, it's gonna get lost. Thank you guys for watching this video on Airsoft Inner Barrels. We have a complete comprehensive guide available on our website. If you guys wanna go ahead and like the video and subscribe, that really helps us out. If you wanna help the channel directly, make sure to go ahead and buy all your Airsoft goods from airsoftgi.com. This has been Isaiah from Airsoft GI. Take it easy, guys. I just wanna say thank you guys for supporting us here at Airsoft GI, whether it be subscribing and watching our videos or going to airsoftgi.com for all your Airsoft needs. One of the things that we're really big on is giving back to you, the Airsoft community. It's because of you, we are able to do what we do. If you haven't heard, over the past couple of years, we've given back to the Airsoft community in the form of our live stream giveaway, where we've given away tens of thousands, if not over $100,000 in prizes and Airsoft GI store credit. We've helped hundreds of airsofters fulfill their wildest airsoft dreams, and we want you to be the next big winner. So if you wanna participate in our live stream giveaway, all you have to do is make an order at airsoftgi.com. As long as your order is $20 or greater, you will automatically be entered. And that's for any product that we have available, whether it's one product or across multiple products. As long as your order is $20 or greater before shipping and taxes. 
Now, the next step, which is probably the most important step, is to make sure that you tune into our live stream giveaway every Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you are not there to claim the prize, you will not be able to claim it later. And the unclaimed prizes will get stacked onto the following live stream giveaway for an even larger prize pot. We do this to give other people the chance to win big. So it's very important that you make sure you tune in. Now, if you happen to miss the deadline for the live stream giveaway, don't worry because your name will be added to the following live stream giveaway. So you'll still have your chance to win, but it's very important that you are there to claim the prize. So make sure you tune into the live stream giveaway. As airsofters, we understand that getting your dream airsoft setup can be expensive and can feel impossible. So this is our way of saying thank you for supporting us. And we wanna help you achieve your airsoft dreams. And we're rooting for you. And we hope that you are the next big live stream giveaway winner.